Uh, you know, Changaneva, um, as carvings go, this is not one of your finer pieces of work. My hands are guided by my dreaming. Aborigine dreamings, yeah. You told me a lot about those when we were in the outback together. At least you believed them, then. Well, I was a young, impressionable child. <laughs> this is just a doll. But it symbolizes what I've come to tell you about. Yeah. That before the end of the year, I will die at the hands of a flaxen-haired creature. Do you know of anyone like this? Oh, yeah, I know quite a few blondes. Probably 50% of them would like to see me strung up by the thumbs, too, but... Kill me? My friend, we must talk. Uh, look, 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 you've had a long journey, and you are gonna stay with me, okay? We must talk. Whoop, plenty of time to talk. You always were a skeptical child, Amanda Bunny. Yeah, well, not much has changed. <laughs> You must take my prediction seriously. Yeah, well, I'll work on that. Uh, uh, come to think of it, there is a flaxen-haired creature who'd probably like to kill me about now. I'd ring her up, but we're not talking. I could just strangle Robert. Now, now. now I can't believe that he would think I would do something <laughs> so juvenile. No, no. So utterly, obviously blatant as to place bridal magazines all around his house. Hint, hint. Let's get married. Nudge, nudge. I wouldn't do something like that. You know, if you had played your cards right, you could turn this whole situation around to your own advantage. I told him the truth. That's your first mistake. Take it from an expert when it comes to men, the little darlings. A little subtle manipulation doesn't hurt a bit. What do you mean? Well, for example, um, come here. Come here. I don't know, Aunt Iona. That is the Iona Huntington theory on men, guaranteed to get him every time. Yeah, well, no offense, Aunt Iona, but considering the amount of times that you've been divorced... <laughs> well, I never said my theory was perfect. <clears throat> Listen, mm. if I had wanted to hang on to them, I would have. Mm. But I was never the, well, I don't know, the settling down type. You, my near niece, on the other hand, are. I was not trying to wrangle a marriage proposal out of Robert. I didn't say you were. But you have to admit, when a man finds uh, bridal magazines... They were not my up. magazines. They were Robin's. I know. I know. I don't know why Robert and I have so many misunderstandings. Sweetie, mm -hmm. there is so much energy flowing between you two. Sparks are bound to fly once in a while. I'll bet it's electrical when you make up, too, huh? Life is too short and love is too precious to waste. Grab it while you can. You're right. Where are you going? I'm going to Robert's. And what are you going to do? I'm going to wait for him to come home. And then I'm, I'm going to straighten out this mess. Go for it, Catherine. Thank you. I love you. Bye. Bye. Bye, Anna. Bye. Welcome to my humble abode. Watch out. For I me. will not slip on the carpet. Don't you know? I have seen this place in my dreamings when I was trying to communicate with you. Yeah, I guess my reception's a little off. I must clean up the satellite dish. <laughs> you still do not believe me, do you, my friend? Yeah. Look, why don't I light us a fire? It's getting a little uh, cool in here. You're never very, never very big on furniture, were you? I'm used to the ground. I never did get used to it. I think of the time we spent in the outback. My back end used to ache for days at a time. <laughs> yes, I remember. But I hope you have not forgotten everything I've taught you. Well, so 
some of those things you taught me about survival have come in. Very handy. You've always had excellent instincts. You just needed to be taught how to use them and to trust them. Like my placing trust in your dreamings? Our dreamings are our history and our future. They remind to us of many things and of what's to come. Yeah, it, it's... Uh... I, I know a lot about the culture and background of your people, but... Uh, you do not believe in it. I just have a little bit of trouble believing in that message you gave to me earlier. I can only tell you what I saw. Yeah, but I know Kate. And if you knew her, you... You would see that she couldn't do harm to anybody, in particular me. I never said uh, this woman, Kate, is... You said something about um, a new era in my life commencing around December. Now, that was roughly when I met her. Well, I am not a fortune teller, Mondo Bunny. I can only tell you what I see. You can't by any chance dream up an address on this blonde, will you, so that I can run around there and maybe nab her? Your instincts will show you the way if you trust in them. You trying to tell me that not all of your dreamings come true? It's a warning, my friend. You can either listen or ignore it. Couldn't you have dreamt up something a little happier, like a long and lasting retirement in the Bahamas? I'm sorry, mate. I wish I could tell you what to do. Yeah. Well, one thing I'm not going to do is tell Kate what's going on here. She needn't ever see me. No, I wanted to, wanted to meet you. I just don't want her to know about this prediction. Yeah. What I came to say was meant only for your hearing. Yeah. Look, you've, uh, you've had a long flight. You've got to be tired. Why don't you, uh, why don't you use my room? Hmm? No, I prefer to sleep outdoors. It's a lot colder here than it is back in Australia. Oh, I'll be fine. Well, let me get you um, some blankets and a tent. No, no, no. Do not worry so much about me, my friend. You've flown two-thirds of the way around the world to see me. Figure it's the least I can do. The least you could have done was to have brought me a basket of kiwis. Robert? Good, you're home. Uh, look, I think... I think we should clear up this mess and, and talk about this, don't you? Robert? Uh, uh, who are you? You must be Kate. Well, yes, I, I am. Hello. And, and you are? My name is Tang Geneva. Tang, Tang, you're, you're, you're Robert's friend from the Outback, right? I am him. Well, uh, Robert has told me so much about you. I feel like I, I already know you. And I feel the same way. Great. Okay.